Jalen, obviously offense has been a big topic, you know, coming off the game. What does this offense got to do to just kind of get over some of these hurdles to start playing consistent football? Uh, we just got to go out there and uh, execute the plan, uh, you know, just stick to our coaching uh, and just play the play and just do little things, man. You know, it always comes down to the little things, and that's going to create the bigger picture. So. What are some of those little things you're mentioning that you kind of feel like you need to clean up on uh, through a quarter of the season so far? Yeah, so, you know, those little things, that's just stuff that's uh, internal within the program. You know, that's stuff that we – that we know that we got to do. Uh, it's not for the public to know. Uh, just stuff that, you know, we got to clean up. Yeah, Jalen, just what are some of the things that uh, maybe you like about the offense or feel optimistic about? Of course, last week was, you know, against, you know, number one team. But even with that in consideration, what are some things that you feel you have, I don't know, I guess some sort of like momentum on? Oh, uh, man, uh, you know, we got some good things that we're doing well. Uh, and then there's some things that we aren't doing so well. Uh, but like I said, we just got to clean up some little things. And, you know, that's just stuff that we keeping in house. And, you know, uh, you know, it's just stuff that we know that we got to go back to the drawing board. And, uh, you know, we see we see exactly what we're doing good and we see what we're doing bad and, you know, just correct those mistakes, man. Jalen, I know it maybe hasn't been as consistent as you guys would like offensively, but you guys have been pretty explosive compared to last year. I mean, you put up some more big plays maybe than you did throughout last year. I guess just what do you feel like has maybe gone into that, being able to hit on some of those bigger plays? And I guess what do you feel like has maybe worked with some of that being your, your rapport with Spencer and, and kind of how that's come together as well? Uh, you know, so just, you know, just building that connection uh, throughout practices and everything, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, just uh, going throughout practice and everything and uh, the way, you know, you know, just the way we're going about practice and the players we're calling, uh, just building that confidence within each other. Uh, just rep uh, repetition is a big key. Uh, being able to be very consistent within those plays and then, you know, just add on to those as well. Jalen, you've kind of mentioned just keeping some of that in-house stuff and cleaning that up. From a offensive standpoint, how do you balance the on-field results you guys have had through the first three weeks with knowing that this offense is probably going to look a lot better, a lot different as you guys continue to build that connection over the next nine weeks? You know, we just got to keep on striving, you know, just keep our head down, uh, you know, just keep on going to work each and every day, just find ways to improve. Uh, you know, I feel I feel so great about this team and I feel great about uh, my teammates and my coaches because I feel like, um, you know, we got all the right people. We just got to put everything together and then we just rock out. Obviously, these last few games didn't go the way you wanted, but most players say that you learn a lot more from a loss than you do from a win. Just how much do you feel that in playing those two teams, you guys kind of have figured out what you need to do better and kind of now or have a bit more understanding moving forward in, in the season? Yeah, so obviously, yeah, we definitely learned a lot. Um, you know, we learned a lot of good. We learned a lot of bad. Um, but like I said, that just go back to the drawing board and just going back to where we need to improve and uh, how can we keep up the good things that – oh, I'm sorry. Uh, how can we keep up the good things that we got going on and just being more consistent at that. Uh, but like I said, man, uh, you know, we learn, we learn lessons and then just figure out ways not to keep on repeating those lessons, you feel me? Okay, you mentioned you're doing some good things. Could you elaborate a little on what exactly the good things are that you're doing? Yeah, so, uh, you know, we're doing good, uh, you know, just keeping the uh, plays alive. Uh, we're doing pretty good on third downs. Uh, you know, we're doing good up, uh, up front, you know, creating some time for Spencer uh, in the pocket. Uh, you know, we're also doing good of, you know, playing for each other, uh, which is a big thing for us to do. Uh, you know, we have a lot of, you know, and the other good is, you know, we got a lot of great individual things that's going on. We just got to figure out to make ways for it to be a together, like a collective thing, you know, to happen to, for everything to be good. Hey, Dylan. Um, what was the message kind of in the locker room after the Georgia game? You know, how did you guys kind of pick back up mentally after having, you know, a loss like that? Hey, we just got to go back to the drawing board. Um, obviously, it was a really good team, but we definitely didn't play up to our potential. Uh, you know, just figuring out how to play up to our potential is a big key for us. Uh, but, man, we just got to go back, got to go to work. Um, there's, there's nothing in this world that's going to be handed to you, and you got to work for everything. Jalen, how much 
carryover is there from last year with this offense to this year? Is it the same, kind of similar? What what can you share about about some some of that stuff? In what aspect? Like, just like the system, play calls, concepts, just kind of a, generally across the board. Is is it pretty much similar type of stuff you guys are running? That's something that you're gonna have to ask Coach Beamer. I'm sorry, I can't answer that. Uh, Spencer was talking a little bit after the game Saturday about how sometimes he feels like they're pressing a little bit, especially when they're falling behind big. Do you feel like the offense is pressing at all? And if so, how do you kind of avoid that and just kind of stay stay in the game plan even when things aren't going well? Can you elaborate on what you mean by pressing? That's just what Spencer said. He felt like he was trying to force the ball a little bit once you guys fell behind. Oh, um, I mean, <laughs> I'm not Spencer, so I, could, I really could tell you that. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know how to answer that question, honestly. Jalen, you mentioned this offense not playing up to its potential maybe through the first three weeks. How close are you guys to reaching that potential, and, and what does that look like when everything's maybe clicking on all cylinders? Uh, I feel like we're bits away uh, to reaching that potential. Uh, but I feel like if we just keep on continuing to get 1% uh, better each and every play, uh, each and every day, uh, you know, it'll be here faster than we know it. Uh, but we just got to keep on stacking uh, each day, uh, you know, brick by brick, man. You got to keep on building and building and collecting the uh, stacking the good days. Unstoppable, man. Uh, when we're clicking, like, there's nobody that's going to be able to stop us. All right. Thank you.